two and a half years ago, and he was not what you see tonight. He he was he was he looked a lot the same, but he was he was very quiet, very reserved, kind of hid behind a mask, literally hid behind the mask. And uh, man, in the last three years, God has just opened up his soul. Yeah, man, man, and, right. and Jason has come forth. The first time I noticed was when he helped with a Christmas play. And the dude got very dramatic. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that was in there. I love drama. I toured when I was 16 with a drama team and we went to, we performed like 15 or 16 different times throughout the state of California. We went from one end to the other end and circled back to the middle. Performed 16 times in three weeks. So it was phenomenal. So I love drama. So that, that kind of gave us a little bit of mutual stuff. We started talking and God started moving in Jason's life. Amen. He's been such a blessing Amen. to connect point Amen. to these guys in the recovery home. He's been a blessing to those that are, are on the other side of the home and, and still live in recovery. Amen. And he pours into them. We appreciate all you do. Amen. We ask him to lead it off. He's back in Levi tonight. Let's it off. Give it up to God right hey. now. Hey. Hey. Uh, very humbling. Uh, it's so surreal what just happened just now. I mean, I... I've been in other uh, revival services like constantly, and you know, having the uh, a guest speaker being introduced, I'm like, is that? I pinch myself. Is that really me? That's, that's really happening? Yeah. You know? And um, I want to be honest with you here. Um, I love those. I'm going to teach them all. Right? That's one of the previous things, but um, I, I I struggle. Um, putting together something tonight. Uh, not that uh, I struggled, but when I mean struggle, I mean like God was really dealing with me. I was really seeing God what, what to, to teach or I'll just go ahead and say preach tonight, right? Um, never, never thought I would be in this situation. I right? never thought that God would leave me here. 10 years ago, you, if somebody would have told me you're gonna be preaching at a revival, Anywhere, I would have been like, Heck, yeah, I would laugh in their face and say, get out, get out of here, you know? <laughs> but God has a funny way of, of you know, making things, the impossible happen, right? Yeah. God, has, God has this calling on you, you can't escape it. You may run from it, but you, but see, with my case, I ran, I actually ran into it. <laughs> you know? So, <clears throat> so, again, tonight you're all in for a double feature with me and then Jay's following. They throw on the jacket, I'm with the tie, so, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah, you put us together and we wear words one, one and four, right? Anyway, <laughs> I have a weird way to look at it. What I preach that about Jesus is the way of salvation. How many believe that Jesus is the way of salvation? <laughs> Before we start, I, we should do everything. Let's, let us pray for tonight's service. Oh, God. Lord in Jesus' name, I ask you, Lord, to be in our midst. Lord God, use me as your willing vessel. Lord God, in our name, your willing vessel as he comes. Lord, I pray that you would flow through me, Lord God, so that in my words to be your word, Lord God, I be your humble soul servant, Lord God, as you say. Lord God, I pray you would speak to us, Lord God, in your truth. I give you your We ask that you come in our midst and have your way, Lord God. We grant the permission to come and work freely, not because we have power over you, but because you are a gentleman that you knock at the door and knock, but we are open that door for you, Lord God. I pray against any distractions tonight, any doubts, Lord God. I pray today is the day of our, our salvation, Lord God. In Jesus' name, and above all else, we ask that your name, that your will be done. And everyone says, Amen. 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 I want to tell you here tonight, as it says, such a time as this. Everyone here in this building. You're here for such a time as this. Amen. Yes. You're not here by accident. You're not here by happen chance. Right. You're not here by coincidence. God orchestrated you to be here in, in today's service. Amen. 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 So let me ask you a question. Do you hunger for something more in life? Yes. Is there something deep inside of you that never seems to be satisfied? Mm -hmm. Right? Can I tell you that I was, like all of us here, lost. I was bitter, I was angry, I had a lot of angst, 
I opened doors to the spiritual realm that, that messed with my mind. I, I, I battled depression, loneliness, suicide, and no matter what I, 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 I ran to, nothing ever seemed to satisfy that God-sized hole that was in me. Yep. Nothing ever filled it. And I only found temporary pleasures. Right, right. And in the end, it left me there to die. Right. Come on. So if that's you, if you've seen there be suffered, if so, Jesus is the way of salvation. That's right. John 6.35 says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. You excuse my beginning a little emotional. That's okay. Because you don't understand what God has done for me. The bread, the bread of this world that I partake, let me empty, let me, let me, let me to rot. But when I, when I opened up God's word, the bread of life, I would, I never hungered again. I never thirsted again. Bless you, Lord. The places that, 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 I, that I should be right now, either rotten in a jail cell for life, or maybe executed because of the things. I, I don't really want to go into it, but my mind was completely warped. It was just completely out there. But God is a restorer. He yes. Redeemer. Yes. 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 The lost. Yes. And in this in this world, this information world that we're, we're so uh, flooded with all this kind of information with the internet and Google and all that, yeah. anybody can easily Google or, or YouTube a teaching or preacher or some guy up there just talking all this stuff. It can be a little confusing, right? Yeah. Right. If we don't if we don't know truth, if we we don't study it ourselves. To show our right. self approved. That's right. So we can be confused. Can you ever seem to find a path or purpose in life? Another question. Does it seem like someone has turned out the lights and you cannot find the switch? Right? And we're born into this world, into darkness. Yes. We look all around, there's 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 darkness all around. The book of Revelation is coming true, right? Yes. Every day I like wake up every day I say, like, what, what chapter are we living today? Right. <laughs> but we're in utter darkness with no way out. Except the Word of God. Yes. Because yes. Jesus is the way of salvation. Yes. Yes. John 8, 12 says, Then he spake, then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light of life. Yes. Yes. What is the Bible? I'm going to get a little bit ahead of myself, but in Psalms, the, 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 the word says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. Yes. So when we, we're navigating to this life, but we don't know where to turn, we don't know what's right, we don't know what, you know, when people say, Things is like what's right, what's truth. This is truth. The yes. word of God is truth. Yes. Yes. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall last forever. Right. 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 Hallelujah. There, life does come with an instruction manual. It's called the Bible. That's Basic right. instructions right. before leaving earth. That's right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sort of life. We can't. We can never. Can I never? I mean, you wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't assemble a piece of furniture without the instructions right off, unless it looks all abstract. All, there's no foundation. Why try to fi fix your life on your own? Here's the instructions. The way to live. Right. God has provided us a way of escape, instructions, in a world full of darkness. Yes. The Word of God. That's right. When you find yourself in a hopeless situation, apply the Word. The Word is life. Yes. The Word is meat to our souls. Yes. It's what will sustain life. It sets us free. Yes. Yes, it does. Matthew 4 and 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Woo! Now, Amen. Amen. now in, in, in that chapter here, it says, And, and he answered. Who, who's the answer? He was answering, Say, this is. The part of the Bible when, when Jesus, before he began his ministry, he was, he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. And just at like the coward Satan is, 
said, okay, after the 40 days, now Jesus is weakened. He's in a weakened state. Let me go try to attack him now. Oh, yeah, devil. Why don't you go attack him when he's strong? Come on. Right. <laughs> Come on. But he attacks him when Jesus was physically weak. And he tells him, first temptation. He tells him, turn these stones into bread. And that's when Jesus answered. You shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of my mouth. Yep. Right. Well, what's, what's the next temptation? He takes him up to the high uh, uh, temple. Right? He says, toss yourself off. And the angel will catch you. I'll paraphrase it here. The angel will catch you. What did Jesus say? He said, it is written. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Right. Final temptation takes him to the, the highest mountain. He sees all over the... He sees, you see Jesus? You see all, these, all this kingdom? You see everything around you? If you would but worship me, if you would just bow down, I'll give you everything. <laughs> they were trying to give something he didn't even know. Come on! <laughs> what did Jesus say? Again, it is written, that shall serve the Lord thy God only, him shall I serve. So the word, of, the word of God is not only our instructions of life and how to live and out of darkness, but it's also our weapon against the enemy. That's right. And how many times it's, it's high time that some of us here give the devil his eviction notice. Come on. Oh, yeah. He's been living with our hearts and our minds Red free for way too long. Satan, I don't belong to you. You have no right to me, to my family, in my mind, in my heart. The word of God says that we, if you resist the devil, he must flee. We invoke the name, the power of Jesus Christ, because by the very mention of his name, the demons tremble. That's how powerful he is. Can I tell you a quick story here? This is a true story that happened to me. When I was when I was lost and deep in my sin, I was I was I was very heavily into heavy metal music and 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 enticed by the occult. One night uh, or years ago, my my sister she had come back from a youth camp she, and she bought me a tape and it was a preaching against music and I didn't want to listen to it because I knew I I knew what he was going to do and he was going to convict me and I didn't want I didn't want it so I didn't listen to her right away. A couple, years, or a couple weeks went by, I decided, you know what, fine, I'll give it a listen. I'm not going to adhere to what it says, because I, I can handle this, right? That was a deception. I can, I, can live, I can live over here, and I can live over there. I can live on both sides. Well, no, you can't. No, come on. You either, you either serve him all the way, or you don't. Right, right, right. 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 Come on. Right. You can't serve two masters. Right. Come on. Right. No. So I, I listened to that tape, and mind you, prior to that, I would I would fall asleep listening to all this demonic, crazy music. I, that's what would soothe me. That's, that's how far deep I was. I couldn't sleep without it. Every night I had my headphones on, and just in my bed, just bent head banging away. <laughs> and I was, I mean, I I, would, I believed those those bands' ideas, their theology. I agreed with it. Because the, the spirits agreed with, with what I was going through, my grief, right? But really all I was doing is just entering, I was opening doors to the demonic realm, yes. getting more bitter, yes. having all these kind of crazy thoughts I should I never thought I would have. Right. But anyway, I listened to this tape. Man, talk about conviction. Hard. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt in God said, you need to stop. You yeah. need to stop. So neither say yes, I did stop that night. Yes. Amen. I, I, I plugged off the, the cassette, CD, took my earphones off, unplugged it from the radio, put them on the other side of the, of the room. And I had a tendency back then, um, of course this was back when I was living at home, teenager, I would lock my door, right? I had a lock, lock on my door and I would lock it so nobody can get in. Because, you know, I, I covered my privacy right back then. Truth be told, I know my parents are here, but they can't get up after me anymore because I'm an adult. <laughs> I, would, I would do not so nice things beyond those. But that's on the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that night, I wake up in the middle of the night. And I'm awake. This is not a dream. I mean, I'm just like right, like right now, like I'm awake. I wake up and my hands are crossed like this. And I could not move. The only thing I could move my eyes. I couldn't move my head. I couldn't do anything. And I heard 
there was something in that room. And I heard rustling, because it was like almost like he was tripping over things, or maybe he was purposely making his presence known. Right. I hear my radio being turned on. And I'm trying to cry out, like, hey, who's in here? But I couldn't. When I opened my mouth, I could not speak. All of a sudden, I start hearing a song being played, a song I never heard before. One of the most blood curling, hair raising, just evil, evil music. It wasn't a band I recognized. It was just, I, I, I can't really describe it for you. you know, worse than any horror movie you may have seen in the past. In the past? <laughs> and I, could, I, I felt myself sinking into my bed as though, I, as though my bed was like swallowing me up. So in my mind, I knew who to call. Amen. And as loud as I could in my mind, I said, in Jesus' name, let me go! Yes. I tell you, I promise you, just like that, it was over. Amen. Yes. Because yep. the demons trembled. Because I was calling Dad. I was calling the Abba yeah. Father. They're like, oh, he's calling Dad. I can get me out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Because they know his power. Yes. 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 They've seen him. We haven't seen him. Right. They were there in his glory. Yeah. They know that God's not messing around. Right. But he said, you mess with my kid, I mess around. Right. I've given you a second chance. Amen. Satan and all the demons in hell, you don't mess with my kids. Just like some of us who have children, if somebody, you see somebody bullying your kid, you're going to get bow up and like, hey, hey, you know? Right. Same thing. God does the same thing with us because we are his, his prized possession. Yes. yes. Amen. We are his creation. We're his sons and daughters. Yes. We're, we're our priesthood. Amen. Amen. And I tell you, I, I learned the power of Jesus Christ's name that day. And I wish I could say that I turned my life around there, but I did not. I, you know, I, for a little bit, I, I went in a straight and narrow, but then I drift off the path. That's a, another story for another day. But, again, the more I run, the more I ran, it's like, well, you actually run in the right direction, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you can't run from it. God's gifts are without repentance. Right. Right? So Jesus spoke this. Oh, I already, I already said that. Gotta see. That's why you have to get ahead of myself. <laughs> Look at Ephesians six and seventeen. It says, "And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God." Right. Yes. Amen. What is the way? What is the truth? What is life? Jesus answered in John fourteen six. It says, "Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life." No man cometh unto me, uh, coming unto the Father, but by me. Right. Amen. The Lord, there's only one God. Yes. Woo! Right. Only yes. one God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus' name, the only name given in heaven and earth, I wish we must be saved. Yes. Right. The only name we are to be baptized in. Yes. yes. Right. right. Yes. No other name I know. So that hunger you feel is spiritual hunger and can only be filled by Jesus. Amen. Nothing else. No situation, no relationship can fill that void. Right. The only relationship that we truly need is Jesus Christ. And I tell you, everything will be added unto you. Yes. 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 Seek right. Him and His righteousness. Yes. Yes. All right. Now, I'm here today with my, my beautiful wife and my child. I never thought I'd ever get married. Especially the kind of bitter and crazy person that I was. I, hate, I tell you, I hated everything and everybody. But God has a way of changing. Amen. Changing. Amen. Woo! Jesus. And every, every chance I get, I always want to give honor to my, to my father who's here. Amen. Because it had not been for his decision to change his life, I would not know Christ. Thank you. Lord. And he was in my dark, darkest moments in my, in my sin. And my bitterness and selfishness, that's how I knew to call in the name of Jesus because I had a father Amen. who taught me the word of God. Come on. Amen. Who laid foundation, who set up an altar yeah. so that whenever I was in dire need, I knew who to run to. I knew where, to where my help comes from because he taught me. He taught me who Jesus was. He, he, he took me to church. Pastor yeah. Sam, I had the same problem as he did. Drug problem, I'll drug the church, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, he said, <laughs> Should be told, yeah, there, there were plenty of times I didn't want to go. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, my, my 
grandma was still alive, I was like, can I stay with grandma? I was like, yeah, you just want to stay with TV. It's like grandma talking about. Right? <laughs> stay playing you know, Nintendo or something. But I, I'm grateful for her father because Amen. he broke that generational curse in our family. Amen. And because, because, and see, that goes to show you that the decisions you make right here, right now, don't just affect you, it affects oh, right. people around you, your family, yeah. future right. generations. That's right. right. And, and what my dad did, coming to Christ, saving his life, not only affected him, but it affected his immediate family and now his grandchildren. Right. That's right. So it matters. Our lives matter what we do in this moment. You're not here by, again, you're not here by accident, you're not here by coincidence. Today could be the day of your salvation. Right. Don't doubt. Amen. I doubt, I'm going to be honest with you, I doubted last night. I was back and forth with Jay. I was like, man, I'm, I'm trying to get something. I had, and I had something original. I actually had 20, 23 pages of notes. Originally. You know? And at the last minute, the guy's like, hey, that's good. But no. I'm sure you can relate, right? No. It's like, but it was so good, guys. I, like, I know it's good. But not, that's not what I want. And so... Yeah, it was down to the wire, and, and I was I was texting Jay. I was like, man, I'm not getting anything. I'm praying. I'm doing stuff. I'm I'm, I'm pushing back from things, you know. I'm, I'm trying to die to myself, trying to hear from God, and you know, I'm just not getting anything, you know. And, and last night, God was just telling me, Hey, look, stop, stop over here. Right. Yeah. Is it your message or my message? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Trust me. Trust me that I'll show up. Because all I, all I am is just this. I'm just a mouthpiece. Of it. Right. Amen. Right. And let me let me use you. Empty yourself out so I can. I mean, how, it's like how can I use it if you're having, if you're so full of yourself? Right. There's nothing left to fill if you have your ideas, your 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 mentality. You know. So, just like God shows up at shows up at the right time. He <laughs> showed up at the right time last night <laughs> at 12:30 a.m. And I had to work at 7 o'clock. <laughs> but he showed up. Yeah. He showed up. Woo! God is never late. He's always on time. He doesn't run on my clock. He doesn't run on our clock. He runs on his clock. Amen. His perfect timing. Amen. So we got to trust his time. Yeah. we got to trust that he knows best for us. His Amen. ways are higher. His ways are higher. So in close, Jesus is the door to a satisfying and eternal life. Jesus is a friend and shepherd that you have been looking for. Amen. Jesus is the life in this world and in the next. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what. I, I've given up so many things in my life that, that held me back, that so easily stumbled me, right? I, I let go of every weight that so easily beset me. Right. Nothing that I let go of was worth losing my soul. Right. 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 No, 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 no music, no shows, no ideas, no selfishness. It was worth it. Come on. I'd rather be persecuted because God will say, blessed are those who are persecuted. Amen. Amen. If they hated him, they're going to hate me. Yes. They're going to hate you. But that's okay. Yeah. Because one of these days, we're, 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 we're dancing to the feet of Jesus. It's going to be worth it. Right. Yeah. It's going to be worth it one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. There's been times, Jay, in my life that I've been excluded from things, from school, from friends. That's for a reason. Yeah. The God was protecting Amen. Yeah. Yes. And I know you have a similar story, too, because you said it. Because he was protecting us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want you tainted by that. Come on. I called you for a higher purpose. Come on. Yeah. Right. So I thank God. I thank God for the rejection. In my God. I, thank, I thank God for broken relationships and the relationships that never, never work. Again, Jesus is the way of salvation. We can all stand and just give God some praise right now. Oh, hallelujah.